Okay, so I'm doing a test today on this 12 volt trolling motor. It's a 45 pound Minn Kota. Um, I just got this stick on here because it's easier to sit here in the boat and just reach over and this way instead of up behind my head. Um, so anyway, doing a test to see how far it can go like longevity. Yeah, so last time I did this, I turned it up, turned, I turned this all the way up and I ran it as long as it could. It was on a windy day and I made up two or two and a half hours and it overheated. And at the time I thought it might be the motor, but today I'm thinking it's probably more likely it's the control itself. Well, today I ran it at half power because on that day it ran at 480 watts full at full power and as the battery as the 12 volt battery uh, discharged it went down to about 430 toward the end of the day so 430 watts 480 watts might as well say like you know 450 watts is what about what this thing draws on average if you left it wide open all day or you know two hours is about all it can take it gets hot so today I did it at half power at 250 watts for two and a half hours. There was no trouble. I did take a couple of times with the squirt bottle and I sprayed the bottom where the aluminum bottom back there like that. And that solved the problem easily. I only had to do it maybe once every half an hour. And after that, I was thinking, well, you know, that's going to do that all day. I need to turn it up. So I turned it up to 400 watts. And I ran that for an hour and 15 minutes. And both times, uh, after the 240 and the 400 watts, I pulled the motor up as soon as the end of the test, and the motor was cold. Uh, not even a little bit hot. And so anyway, I ran it 400 watts, and then I just ran it for... 20 minutes at 500 watts I had spray it a lot more often but other than that it was fine so oh uh, there is a difference uh, the other day the, the other time when I tested it I was testing it with 12 volts today I'm testing it with 18 volts there are three of those golf cart batteries and come up here you know it's a mess everything I do is a mess so, get you one of these meters. Uh, ignore that. I didn't reset that today. I didn't use that much power. That would have been 3.66 kilowatts. Uh, there's this button here where you can reset it. And one time I managed to reset it, and I don't know how I did it. I can't figure it out. I tried today, and it took me to a different screen. But anyway, when you're running, you can watch here for your wattage, how many watts you're pulling. How many volts your battery is I'm still at 18 and a half volts started at close to 20 and also your amp draw so this 12 volt trolling motor will run at about 40 amps at 12 volts so that gives you you know 480 watts uh, I never went over like 20 20 something today I don't remember exactly what but I stayed under 30 for sure it's running around 12 or 13 when uh, I was running at 250 watts. But I'm going to turn it on right now. But that's that's the whole gist of it. Like Also with this, with 12 volts, you, you cannot get over 480 watts. That's just the way it works. But with this at 18 volts, you can get 6, 7, 800 watts if you dare. I don't dare. I did it for a second. I just wanted to see if it would go up past 500, and sure enough, it was running at six or 700 watts, no problem. Um, I'm going to run mine at 500 watts or less, and that will be less current to do that, as I'll show you in a second. But that's one thing. You could go faster, and that's and and like like I said, the first test I did it was 480 watts and then as the day went it got slower and slower and slower well with 18 volts 
you could set it for 500 watts and if it started slowing down you could bump it up and get 500 watts again you could maintain 500 watts the whole time no problem okay i'm going to go ahead and turn it on oh one more thing the like i said the test today was just to see if you could if i could go five hours and not overheat and i think i've proven that i can that's no problem oh i guess i should stay down here this wire's kind of short but i mean i just threw it all together you can see i just threw it together um it's been calm like this all day although we did i did take this out this boat out the other day and I only ran it uh, to 250 watts to 375 watts on a different motor and it was very windy very choppy and I had no problems and I had a passenger so all right let's see what we could do here let's see if I can get the screen on the all right right there's that's probably like what you would fish at. No, you probably that's probably a little too slow to fish even. Let's go a little faster. Maybe here. You might be able to throw at this speed. Seventy-five. Let's jump up to 100, 108. It's one hundred eight. You can see what wake we're getting. All right, let's jump to, oh, there's 175. Okay. Kind of seeing it move at this point. When it's going slow, for some reason, the, the motor shakes. It steadies up a little bit when it um, when you go a little faster. But you can see the difference with that. That's actually like a minimum amount, 170 on a calm day will slowly get you somewhere. I'm going to bump it up again. Let's go to the 250 if I can get it there. All right, there's 246. And this is where I ran for two and a half hours first thing. On a calm day, this is fine I, on a windy day it's it's probably not enough so I'm going over to the shore so that I could kind of get a better reference on speed with with you know you can look over to the land and kind of get a reference yeah guess I should have been closer to shore when I did this All right, so this is, like I said, this is 250 watts. Get a little weight going. All right, I'm gonna jump it to 300. Well, that's, that's already, that's 350. And that's actually, for me, that's, I would call that a decent speed. Like if you can get 350 to 400 watts out of your trolling motor without it overheating, that's all you need. Which I think this trolling motor will do that. If you, I'm gonna put a um, a cooling manifold on it, a water manifold, and have a thermostat kick on when it gets too hot. All right, now we're gonna bump up to what is it gonna land on? 405 so this is the where I was running it at the second part of the test 400 moves pretty good at this pace you feel like you're getting somewhere all right go to 500 there is 518 it's just you know slightly more really I guess you can, might be able to sense a little bit faster all 
All right, now I'm going to jump it up to what? What's going to hit? There's five, six hundred. There's seven hundred. Really, not a lot of difference. And like I said, it only runs at five hundred when you actually put twelve volts to it. So maybe six, seven hundred watts is not the smartest thing. Right here again is the. 400 like I said it's a decent pace I'm trying to hold my hand still so I think that's it it's a successful test and like I said uh, you want to get one of these meters because if you can figure out how to zero this out every time you could figure out like if you ran out of juice it will tell you how many watt hours it took like in this case i've got three batteries that are supposedly 1200 amp hours so actually if i had started at zero i would be dead as a doorknob right now and i have a long ways to row luckily this boat this uh was this intex intex mariner 4 uh, 1100 pounds it comes with uh, rowing at, uh, paddles so I did bring one seat with me to uh, sit on to paddle if I had to or to row I guess anyway what I was saying you want one of these meters because if you can get that set on zero then you could say okay uh, if it said 1800 watt hours You'd say, okay, I'm half of my battery is gone. I better, I better think about heading back and maybe even use a lower power setting so that I don't use so much uh, energy. The rest of it's self-evidence. You know, the volts times amps is watts. Although it might not be the case because um, the, the um, trolling motor control uses a pulse width modulator, and it's giving you like an average amperage there and I, I don't really know it might not be exactly ohm's law on that but, or, or reflected on that meter but oh and if, if you got an in one of these intex mariner fours uh this true this um mount is pretty good i you probably don't need this board but it probably will make this last a little longer so I'm going to put this in reverse and come out of here. I'm getting close to the shore. My other one I'm not able to use the reverse on because it doesn't this part doesn't lock. But um Yeah, let's get the nose out. Oop. Went the wrong way. Okay. Right now I'm at 100 and 180 watts, and the mo and the throwing motor is just bouncing. Like I said, it doesn't run smooth at 180. Go up around 400, it'll night it'll like it a lot better. There's 370. So there you have it. It um. A 12 volt, a 45 pound trolling motor should do the trick if you find a way to cool it, even if it's just this in a pinch. Bring this, even if you had a cooling system on your trolling motor, you might want to bring that as a backup. Otherwise, you're going to be reaching in, trying to splash it all the time. If, if you were, uh, or, or you could set it at a real low setting, you know, real low power and go real slow, and it's not going to over overheat. If you want to get any kind of power out of it, you're going to have to water cool it, I think. Or it's, I mean, you could turn it up full blast for two hours, and it will overheat to, to the point where it won't even run. But you can run it without coolant, you know, for those two hours. But after that, if you want to keep going, you got to water cool it, or maybe it's possible you could put a fan on that would do a better job because... Sometimes when you're going upstream or upwind, you're like I go that way to go upwind, and the wind's hitting me in the face. 
so I get good good air passage past this and it helps cool it but when I turn around and come back and the winds going with me it gets like like there's no wind at all and in that case if you're pushing your motor and there's no wind going going past this I mean maybe you could put a fan on it that that could help it I suppose um, because when you're going downwind a lot of times you don't feel any wind at, at all uh, what could I say about the Mariner 4 it's a really good it's a really good little boat you should do some deep dive on it if you haven't already um, they're made very well they they're very cheap or very inexpensive put it that way they're not cheap they're I got this for 300 Canadian 320 Canadian and very happy with it uh, yeah, just do a deep dive on it. There's so many videos out there talking about this thing and the modifications. I'm, I'm excited about doing some modifications on the, you know, like you can put a hard, uh, a floor on it. You can put uh, Bemini's. There's people put sails on them uh, with a mast and everything. So, I mean, and you put like bass chairs on them. It's crazy. But... I just I've made a I made a redneck barrel boat and I've been riding it all summer and that was fun but this is this goes through the water so much better so much more efficiently I mean it's I mean obviously it's gonna be better but um, and barrel boat was fun but this I think is fun more fun this is next level for very little money so that's and and it's easy to throw in the back of the truck and all that stuff so i guess that's i guess that's the video i'm going to get to the truck and put it away i guess for today but i am pleased i went way out there in like 45 minutes which normally takes me three hours or something like that on the barrel boat I'll have to get me something to like like I've got this phone but I don't have service so um, and I don't think it yeah the app wouldn't work if if I don't have service so need some way to uh, check my speed there's ways there's other gadgets that use satellites or whatever GPS so someday I'll have a way to check the speed I'll check different props different motors different battery configurations all that stuff test it out try to be a little more organized and scientific about it and present the results but that's it for today like I said, it's been like this all day. Very nice.